Hello scholars and welcome back to the next online lesson. This one is about a unique sport, lacrosse. At least it was unique to me so I learned a lot in the process of getting ready for this video and I hope you will learn a lot too. You will also be active because I will give you a statement and you will do an exercise if you believe the statement is true. You'll do a different exercise if you think the statement I made is false. And in between, I hope to demonstrate some of the very basics of lacrosse as I learned them. So here we go. The first statement is, lacrosse originated in the USA. True, you do jumping jacks. False, you run in place for 30 seconds. Here we go. Keep it up. Great exercise. And yes. The answer to that statement is true. It originated in the USA with Native Americans as early as the 1500s. They had a huge number of players at times, hundreds of players in their games of one tribe against another. All right, here comes your second statement. Lacrosse is the name of the inventor. If you think that is true, if you think that is true, you do crisscross jumps. If you think that is false, you do push-ups. 30 seconds are starting now. The answer to statement number two is false. The name of the lacrosse is the name of the stick you're using. Lacrosse is the French word for stick, not the name of the inventor. All right, let's go do a skill. The skill we're doing is called cradling. So let me show you the equipment. So this is the stick. One has a little strap on it. It's called an adjuster or an adapter, which might make it a little easier to keep the ball in the head. This one does not. The adapter does not impede throwing or shooting. Yeah. These sticks and these rubber balls are part of a school set. So they're a little shorter a little softer, and this is a soft rubber ball. Yep. Cradling means holding the ball in the head. Head, neck, stick, and butt. Okay? What you do is your dominant hand, in my case, my left hand, so you guys, if you're right-handed, just mirror me, is at the top. Then balance on your fingers. You curl your fingers around, but you don't Grip it tight. Just have it nice and loose. And the bottom hand just guides. Yeah, and this is cradling. Just holding the ball right there. Yeah, and you can go up a little bit, down. Try and do some tricks. Make it go around in a 360. Yeah, go from one side to the other. In front of you. So if you have something like this and you have a chance to try, give it a try. Nice and easy and relaxed. Okay? Cradling. A typical lacrosse term. All right, third statement. 
Lacrosse is the fastest growing high school sport. If you think it's true, you do a plank. If you think it's false, you do some straddles. That statement is true. Lacrosse is the fastest growing high school sport here in the United States. Statement number four. A goalie can catch the ball in his or her glove. If you think that's true, you do some sit-ups. If you think that's false, you do some mountain climbers. That statement is false. The goalie cannot catch the ball in his or her glove. All right, here we're going with a little bit more practice on skills. This one is called scooping. Here, scooping means picking up a ball off the floor, the ground, the grass, and there will be a lot of ground balls in lacrosse simply because your opponent is allowed to knock the ball out of your cradle. See you? I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna step with my left foot. My left hand is at the top. I cannot grab the neck of the um, head. That's illegal, so my hand is as high up as I can. The other hand guides, and I wanna get really low and down to scoop up that ball like that okay and again this hand is down my guiding hand pushes that side down so the stick is almost parallel to the ground so really have to step squad and scoop okay don't try to do this pitch forking it that won't work it only pushes the ball away so step, squat, and scoop. Another typical lacrosse skill. All right, statement number five. Lacrosse is named the fastest sport on two feet. If you think that's true, you are going to balance on your right leg. If you think it's false, you balance on your left leg. All right, that statement is true. Lacrosse is named the fastest sport on two feet, mainly because the passing of the ball goes so fast that at times it's almost impossible to find where the ball actually is. So it's really, really fast play. All right, statement number six. Lacrosse is an Olympic sport. If you think that's true, you hop on left. If you think it's false, you hop on right.
Okay, that statement is false. Lacrosse is not an Olympic sport. Okay, we're gonna do some more skill development. The next one is throwing or passing. <coughs> For that, my top hand comes down and it's called a push-pull action. So I'm pushing with this hand. My supporting hand goes down. And my leading hand goes pushes. Yeah, so I'm gonna point the butt at my target or the other player, pushing this down. And up here, yeah, so pull, push, pull, push. Pull, push. From the side, it would look like this. This hand scoots down. Yeah. This hand scoots down. All right. A pull, push motion. That is shooting. Okay, the next statement, number seven, box lacrosse is played in a large wooden rectangle. Box, B-O-X, lacrosse is played in a large wooden rectangle. If you think that's true, you do pretend jump ropes. If you think that's false, you do burpees. Right. That statement is false. Box lacrosse is played indoors. All right. Now, next statement. Statement number eight. The ball can touch the ground in lacrosse and that does not stop the play. If you think that's true, you do knee ups think that's false, you do butt kicks. statement the ball can touch the ground in lacrosse and it doesn't ah. stop the game it's true hence the scooping because there will be a lot of ground balls during play and the game just keeps going okay here's our next skill catching as with any other catching you want to kind of give when you catch because if you don't give and the ball hits the head of the stick is going to bounce right back out. So you got to kind of give with it. Give with it. Here, for catching, my action hand, for me, my left, for most of you, your right, goes up. And this guiding hand stays down here as it always does. Here, so a couple of catches. Here in my backyard, I'll just have to toss it on the wall and catch it when it bounces back off the wall. Catch and move back. OK, 
Catch and give. Catch and give. Catch and give. All right, so that's catching. Okay, statement number nine. The game starts with a face-off, like in hockey. If you think that's true, you twist. If you think that's false, you do arm circles. That statement, the game starts with a face-off, is true. And the last one, statement number 10, including the goalie, there are 10 players on the team in the field. Including the goalie, there are 10 playing. If you think that's true, you do ski jumps. If you think that's false, you do lunges. Okay, that statement, 10 players on the field or on the court, is true, including the goalie. There are 10. All right, that concludes our little intro to lacrosse. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something new in the process. One thing we didn't do was shooting, but shooting is just like passing, just in a goal or on a target. Yeah, you can make a target, tie a box in a tree, draw a square on the wall like I did here and have fun with it. See you next time.